He's off tonight. Emotional testimony today from victims and family members of the deadly Heath High School shooting in Paducah. Michael Carneal was sentenced to life in prison, but is asking a parole board to set him free. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff joins us now with how this process will work. Mark, how about it? Well, this is the first of a two-day parole hearing. Tomorrow we'll hear from Michael Carneal himself, but today his victims and their family spoke to the parole board in a virtual hearing. I haven't been able to hug Nicole or see her since December 1st from 97. Three students died and five were injured in the Heath High School shooting in West Paducah. This past June, my granddaughter, Charlie Nicole, was sitting in my lap crying because she won't ever get to see her Aunt Nicola, who she's named after. All but one of the seven speakers on Monday asked the parole board to keep the shooter, Michael Carneal, in prison. On that day, I was a 14-year-old child. I laid on the floor in the lobby of Heath High School, bled from the side of my head, and believed I was going to die. Carneal fired upon a group of students while they were praying. Almost 25 years later, I still have trouble being in crowds of people. I get agitated and scanned for sources of danger and exit routes. Despite his trauma, Holland Holm urged the parole board to release Carnell, who was 14 at the time of the shooting and is now 39. My oldest child turned 10 this year, and I can't imagine holding her to the standard of an adult. Carnell accepted a plea deal of life in prison with no parole until he served at least 25 years. He has never shown remorse or taken responsibility for what he's done. Not only did he kill Nicole, but he also killed Nick, Casey and Jessica. In 2007 and 2012, Carnell filed appeals, arguing his mental illness made him incapable of accepting a plea deal. I hope the wheelchair reminds everybody that we're ever, everybody's still suffering. For some of his victims, the fact they'll never get a break means he shouldn't either. My life will get simpler. I'm forced to continue with every day getting harder and harder as the years pass during my life sentence. Now, there are two parole board members hearing this case, and if they agree on what to do, they could come to a decision tomorrow. But if they do not agree, there'll be another hearing with a full parole board on Monday. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News. Thank you.